Hi guys, this is Madeline at Lakeside Table and the folks over at the Auto Stop Safe Cut Can Opener Company reached out to me the other day and asked me to do a uh, review for them. I am not an affiliate, so if you buy one of these, I don't get a kickback. I don't get, I am not, I did get a free can opener and I just took it out of the box and you will need four AA batteries, which do not come with it, which is totally fine, easy enough to come by. And I have to say, I this is the second time I've ever used it. And the first time um, I did, I, I pushed it and it went round and round and it didn't cut. But then I figured out it was user error and it does come with a little set of easy to follow instructions. And let me tell you, if I can follow these instructions, you can follow these instructions. All right, so we are going to try it out. I'll show you how to use it. And, um, and then we'll go from there and you tell me what you think. All right, all right, so let's go ahead. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> Scroll all the way down. You guys can see this. All right, so it's, it is super cute and it fits great in your hand. It does feel good. And let's see, so we're gonna go ahead and it says to put the can in between this space right here. And then you push down on it pretty hard and then and push this top button. Let's see if we got that. All right, and then it'll... All right, so I push down. And it's just, it's hands-free. Well, didn't really grab on. So this is kind of what happened. All right, did not make a cut. Let's try it again. Let's give it the benefit of the doubt. All right, I'm pushing down pretty hard. I think it's, I think it cut. Let's see what we get here. So it doesn't leave any sharp edges, and it should oh, kind of stuck there. Well, it's a little wonky, not gonna lie. It's supposed to stop all on its own. All right, so it is a little tricky, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. All right, I'm gonna stop it. Let's see what happens if we just kind of push down <laughs> without pushing the button. All right, so I'm just gonna push it down, see if it'll cut. Oh. All right, now we're gonna push the button. Okay. I was really hoping this was gonna be pretty awesome and neato, petito, but yeah, it hasn't done anything yet. So it's really cool that it does it by itself, but if it doesn't cut anything, I do say it did cut this one, but like I said, this is only the second time that I've tried it. And it should not be this hard. All right, so it did have an auto stop. It did do that. Yeah. But it didn't it didn't cut anything. All right, so it says to put the can right in between here and there. And make sure there's no space. And I don't know, gang. Why well, shouldn't be this hard? <laughs> All right, we get it going? Okay, I think it started it. Okay, something is happening. Okay, let's see if it stops automatically. And it should grab, it should grab the lid. And 
So put the edge of the tin in between the blade and the gear. Push, de push tin opener down fully on the tin without any space in between them. And with the tin on a flat surface, press the start button for about one second and release it once the tin opener starts to cut the can. Rotate the opener on the tin for a full circle and press the on off. All right, well, it doesn't seem like it's it's not, it's not, it's not an auto stop, so that, that didn't work, but hey, at least the, the, the can came. All right, at least it worked. So it did take a little, it did take a little uh, finagling to, to get it, to get it working, but once it worked, it says that it, there shouldn't be any, any sharp edges. I have to agree with that. There's no jagged, sharp edges. So, you know, I think uh, if you could get it going, uh, I, I think it's a, it worked out great. It's super cute. It doesn't take up any room like on the counter like a uh, um, electric can opener. And I'm gonna play with this just a little bit more. That was the second time I've ever used it. Um, so, and maybe it was user error that couldn't get it, you know, to get that first initial cut. So I'm gonna give them the benefit of doubt. And if I had to rate this thing on a scale of one to five, I, right now, I would give it about a three and a half stars only because getting it, getting it to cut is is tricky if we can get that done i'd give it a five stars and um so i'll play with it a little bit more and um i'll do a post on lakesidetable.com with a full review in a few days after i find a few more cans to open up and play with so thanks again for the auto stop safe cut can opener company for um giving this to me for my review. I hope that helps and you guys have a great day. Bye.